Okay, so to our food processor, we're gonna add two and a half cups of flour. And in that flour, I did put some salt in it as well. And we're just gonna pulse that. And then we're gonna add in some cold butter now. And we're gonna pulse it again to get it nice and crumbly. Once that is done, we are now going to add our water and vinegar to it. So we're slowly adding the water and we are pulsing at the same time. And then when it becomes this consistency, we're going to take it out and we're going to form it into two dough balls. So we're going to have one for the bottom of the pie and then we're going to have one to lay on top of the pie. So there we're forming our ball. That's one. And now we're going to form the other one. Right, so there we have our two balls. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it in plastic wrap and then we're going to put it in the, in the refrigerator while we work on the filling because for the apple pie as we're doing the apple pie so we're going to work on the filling now so here is what we will need for the filling now i have that's the size of apple that i used and i use 10 of those apples to cut up I have three tablespoons of cornstarch, I have one teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, about three quarter cup of cups of sugar. Of course, we're using one lime. And I also have some butter there that I would use to put on the top after. Now, you don't need to put sugar at all if you don't want to. You can put less sugar if you wish. Um, so it's, it's um, totally up to you. But there we are combining everything, the lime, the cinnamon, the nutmeg. Um, now we're going to add in the cornstarch, mix well, so we can combine everything. Now we will add in our sugar. Like I said, you could even put a quarter cup of sugar if you wish, if you want to use less, you can do that, or omit it all together. Okay, so now we're going to flour our counter and roll out our dough. Okay, so as you can see, we have rolled out our pie now what we want to do now is take our pie dish and we sort of rest it over here just to see if we have rolled it out enough so that it will fit inside of the pie dish so I can see that I need to roll out the edges a little bit more so we'll do that Okay, so what we do is that we take our rolling pin and we roll the pie onto the rolling pin. And in that way, you're able to pick up your the pie crust and lay it now back over onto your pie dish. So that is the, the best way in order to get your pie dough into your baking dish. You never want to try to hold that with your hand because you might just tear it so there I am just um, flattening everything pressing everything down making sure that it makes contact properly at the sides and now we can fill our pie with our apple pie filling 
So we're gonna spoon that in. Of course, this recipe that is used to make this pie crust can um, be used for any other pie you wanna make, whether it is uh, another fruit or even chicken pot pie as well. Okay, so there I'm now putting the butter on top. Um, I did not use all the butter that you saw in the video, um, but I just put a few dollops on the top. So I'm now cutting all the edges and I'm going to combine this edge with the other dough that I have to place on the top. So there I'm just pressing it together. And now we're going to roll out this pie crust, um, rather pie dough, for the top. And we're going to use the same principle in order to get it on top our pie so we're going to use a rolling pin and we're going to good so we now want to lay it over the top and now I'm just going to press it in press it in there the sides all the way around and then I'm just going to roll up the sides and close it in Sort of pinch it. It's like you're pinching and tucking it under. And I'm going to do that all the way around, pinching and tucking as I go the sides until I've sealed up everything. And then I'm going to make the slits for the release of any um, steam or what we call our vent slits and now I'm just going to use a fork and press down the side and there you have it that's your apple pie now just ready to go in the oven so we're going to put that in a oven for at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour to bake I'm just putting a little butter that remained on the top just to give it a nice little golden um, color. You don't have to do that. I just had some remaining there. So I just decided to add it to the top. Okay, so now we're going to get a, another tray and we're going to put our pie dish on top of that tray. And that's in case there's any bubbling, it wouldn't fall in your oven, but on the tray itself. So you would probably want to do that and there you have it folks your delicious homemade apple pie